guys, it's James of Bespoke here, and you're probably wondering why I'm hiding in the corner of the shop. And it's because I got my hands on something pretty early compared to, you know, other reviewers out there. It's only the new device from Talk Precision. Hi guys, James at Bespoke here. Sorry for that silly intro, I know I'm an absolute, I'm losing the plot in lockdown. Um, but today we're talking about the new device from Talk Precision. Now you may have seen this, you may have not. If you are unaware of who Talk Precision is, they made the SFDI, which was this very cool device that I reviewed quite a while ago now. You see it's in the trigger pouch here. It was really fast and easy to deploy. Uh, when, when coupled with the, um, the ACS trigger pouch, it sits in place like this. You obviously, as you pull the trigger pouch out, it pulls the pin from the device, and then as the spoon comes off, it can be triggered. Now, with this device, it was different to other distraction devices in terms of like the airsoft and the civilian market because it had a spoon on the side, and this is because this device is predominantly made for law enforcement and police um, use only. And, you know, the, the civilian version of the SFDI came out. We obviously stocked it. We were, I think it was one of the first, if not the first, to stock the device, um, as well as talk about it. And it was a very cool device indeed. It was very sensitive compared to other devices, um, which I think I've got a video. I'll just show you if, it, if it's not popped up already. And it was very um, simple in the way it works. It's got a wobble top like normal. It uses these funky sort of... Um, spoon you fit on the side here and then you have a pin that goes through the trigger pouch that I use on my gear I've took the pin apart and mounted it directly to the pouch and then you basically can put this back together it's probably not the best way to do it on the shoulder but I'm trying to do it so you can see it and that's loaded ready to go and the, the device was probably one of the most safest devices ever invented and we went through that in the whole SFDI video but this video is not about the SFDI is it this video is about the SFDF now this one apart from the letter type change there looks a little bit different doesn't it so the SFDF in terms of the dimension and everything like that it's pretty much the same as the SFDI but this is their new Fusion Kinetic Trigger. Now, what is the Fusion Kinetic Trigger, I, you may ask? Well, that's what I'm here to show you. So, the first thing I'm gonna say is they've changed the spoon slightly. Now, with the SFDF, as it comes, or as it will come uh, out the box or in a package, or you know, as you, as you purchase one, it will come with a green top on there. And that's to mimic what the, the military use. So, there's some pictures floating around of some British military forces, I don't know who they are, um, but they were using the SFDIs and they were using the green green top, so that it'll come with this one. The reason I'm using a clear one is because as soon as I was giving it to, to myself and I saw it, I just fell in love with the clear one. It just looks so cool and you can see all the geometry of the part um, when they've designed the, the mold to make these. So extra features, you've got a little stop on the pin there to stop it from riding up. So you've got that, you push past that to get the pin off. You've also got an extra added pin safety where it stops on the pin. They've made the pin a little bit longer for that reason. Just so if this comes off accidentally, um, you've got a, you know, a foul south there to stop the pin flying off the device. Uh, remember, this device has been literally designed from the ground up for law enforcement and military use, and these are predominantly sold in the US market. So um, they, you, we're getting the adjustability, yeah, not the adjustability, we're getting the benefits of all the extra, you know, safeties and design that's gone into this device but this is for the civilian market so we have the pin there they've changed the finish on this to this sort of like silvery nickel type finish compared to the old black style uh, we obviously pull the pin out as usual nothing nothing different there uh, the spoon comes off very much the same way but this is where the device gets a little bit different now i'm just going to check it here because i can't remember if i've set this so it is set so this is armed ready to go this is ready to go off. It's got nothing in there, obviously. And the pin, the wobble top, doesn't move. Hmm, interesting. Um, so with the normal wobble top, it has to have the inertia of the device hitting a hard object. As it hits the hard object, the wobble top moves. That movement pivots the, the firing pin system down into the primer or whatever sort of cartridge that you're using. 
where this one is cocked. You heard that, didn't you? So this is cocked like a firing pin. Now I know I call it firing pin, I'm probably using the wrong term. So sorry Talk Precision if I have used the wrong term there. But um, the device comes with a little tool. Very cool indeed. Now what we do, this tool is perfectly designed to fit that hole in the bottom there. And then you can feel the tension on the firing pin. Just push that up. We can just touch this. It allows the pin to go in all the way and it's primed and ready to go. So you have all the added benefits of the extra safety is the extra safety is built into the pin design, the safety of the spoon, which has changed. They've changed the geometry here a little bit um, to make it easier to push the pins in and out. They've really just took the design of the SFDI and just took it to a new level. Now, what benefit would you have with this device over the SFDI? Obviously, this is going to be a little bit more uh, expensive. I think the SFDI is retailed for about 95 ish pounds, uh, depending on where you got them from. Hope you bought one from us. The SFDF is probably going to retail, and this is just me spitballing here, around about the 120 to 130 mark. But the the applications of this device just go up tenfold with the new Connect Fire System. Now, why the new Connect Fire System, like I said before? It's much more sensitive. So because it's got it's preloaded, ready to go, so it's ready to fire, it doesn't need the inertia of the, the, the wobble top to sort of wobble over to enact the firing pin on the, the primer, it's ready to go. So all you're doing is you're triggering it. So slightest bit of pressure. What this means is you can make the device much more sensitive. Now, why would you do that? Let's say you're in a woodland environment um, where you've got grass or muddy area, or you're in an indoor, uh, sort of an indoor site where they use like something soft on the floor, where, you know, the normal impact grenades, TRMRs, tectonics, quake, all the ones that were absolutely pants, um, and the SFDI, of course, being the best one in our opinion. Now, you can throw it onto a soft surface and it will go off, but they haven't stopped there. They've also made the ability to take this apart, so you can pull this little screw out here, you can take this apart, you can switch the spring out with springs that they supply you, and you can adjust the sensitivity of the kinetic fire, the fusion kinetic trigger. Sorry, I get that right. So the fusion kinetic trigger. So you can make this even more sensitive, you can make it less sensitive. Um, this is an overview today, so that, you know I'm just trying to get all the information out there to you so you know what this thing is. I'm not gonna be throwing it in this video. Um, I might at the end, we'll see. Um, so it's a lot more sensitive, you have a lot more versatility with it, it goes off on a lot more surfaces, so it will trump every device out there, TRMR, Tectonics, the Alpha Tech, the Dynatech, the whatever tech you want to call it, um, and the SFDI, this will trump every single one of them devices, guaranteed. But there's more than one application for this. Yes, you've got a soft surface, you know, you, you, you can now throw it in an outdoor building that might have sort of a soft floor and it'll go off. Um, if, now I'm just gonna say a bit of a disclaimer, if the game site that you play at allows this, because some do, don't and some do. Um, the other plus side of this, Let's say you're in an environment where you're in a Milsom event and they allow for this type of, uh, you know, sort of application. You need to protect your building. You and a couple of you guys have got these. Um, you dig a little 45 mil, 50 mil ish hole in the floor if it's soft ground. And you put something on top of it. When a foot depresses, because it doesn't need to go sideways, it can go, you know, sideways or down. You've now been able to safely, and I say this with, with um, emphasis on safe, You've now been able to safely deploy an airsoft landmine that works and is an absolute rubbish like the CO2 and gas ones out there. And, you know, they're probably, I don't think a company's released one for a long time now, but safest way to do it, cheapest way to do it. Uh, you know, primers like, what, seven pence each. So, you know, the bases are obviously a lot smaller. They will have other bases available soon. So you'll be able to use um, other... Uh, charges like mag flash 9 mil if you want to I don't know why you would there's also some of the developments which I'm you know not allowed to talk to you about yet so my lips are sealed um the third application oh, it just keeps getting better doesn't it let's say you don't have an area where you've got soft ground where you can deploy this device and have it as like a landmine let's say you're in an urban environment but the urban environment in the game that you're in allows you to use uh, traps or trip mines or whatever like that the proper events, the Milsom events. 
Um, you put this up against you know a door frame or such. Um, it comes with this pin as well. Now, predominantly, this pin is designed. The sole purpose it's designed for. The guys in the US are throwing bangs that are much more detrimental to your health than what we use in the civilian market in the primers. So they're throwing some nasty stuff. And the stuff that they're throwing is um, a, kind of, a kind of munition that you would not want your hand around this when it goes off. Now with primers, I demonstrated this long ago with the tremors, you could, with a primer um, in a base, wrap your hands around, uh, you know, with a glove on obviously, and you could hit it and it'd go off and it wouldn't damage you at all. There's just not enough pressure there. Um, so you're in the US, or you're in law enforcement, or military, or whatever, or you're doing training, whatever you're doing, if you're watching this video and you're using one of these devices, let's say you've thrown a load of devices, you've done your drills, you've moved in, you've cleared the room, shot some paper targets, whatever application that you might have. The last thing you wanna do is pick up a device, let's say for whatever reason it doesn't go off, the misuse, um, the guys, like as they dropped it on the floor, they left a spoon on or something, something silly, something daft. Every device that, that hasn't gone off is a potential, um, has a potential to cause harm if the user is going to take it apart. So let's say military guy does his training, comes up to this, and they unscrew this, and for some reason they tap the top or something, and it goes off, and they've got their hand round it. It can be very dangerous, of course. They work in dangerous environments. You can't always remove every ounce of risk. Um, so what they did is they put in this little hole here and they give you this pin. Now let's say they're in a train. I know going over and over, I'm just trying to emphasize what this is for. Let's say they're going through a train environment or you know they've, they've attacked some kind of residence where they need to subdue someone. They take this pin, they push it through the little hole there. It lines up inside the device, there's a little cavity. And now that device is 100% safe. Now I'm just gonna fire this off to show you. So that's fired while I've had my hands on it, but there's no firing pin. That's because this little safety pin stops it. So if they wanna make ammunition safe, let's say they've aborted the throw mid uh, deploy, and they wanna make this device safe, they push that little pin in. Once that pin's in, they can safely remove the ammunition with no risk, zero risk of it going off. Now, why is this good for airsofters? Like I said, you've got a milsim event, you've got an indoor environment where you haven't got soft ground. You could place this in a corner. You could have, you know, your trip wire or your fishing wire, whatever you use, make sure your game site allows it. You attach it to this pin. Now, this is fired, remember, I fired it off. What happens when I remove this pin? The firing pin fires. So now you've got a really easy and cheap an inexpensive way to make this a trip mine. So they really have thought about everything and for all markets as well. So this device is the next evolution of impact or um, distraction device, so especially for the airsoft and civilian markets, but for law enforcement and police use as well. This is gonna be going on retail very soon. Um, this is just a quick overview to show you what this thing is. Um, what you get in the box is you get the SFDF, or the CEFDEF, as I'm starting to call it, um, having come up with the acronym for the uh, the TRMR, um, I've got a bit of a habit of doing that, but I'm gonna start calling this a CEFDEF and hope it catches on, because CEFDEF sounds so much cooler. Um, so you get the, the SFDF, you get a green spoon in the box. You get a set of, uh, you get an extra two or three springs, I think, for the, the top. Um, so you can set the sensitivity, you get the safety pin, you get the plunger to arm the device, and you also get the main pin as well. As well as all that, you'll have some instructions, which I do have, folded away neatly in my pocket. So here we are, there's a long list of instructions here. And what to do, it's really is self-explanatory. All you gotta do is read this and you'll know everything that you need to know about the SFDF. And they'll obviously be making the spoons available separately. So you got green, you got blue, you got red. I think they did a yellow as well. Uh, they did black originally too. But oh, I should love that clear. It's not great for finding it afterwards if you're in a dark environment, but my God, does that look cool. And 
let's get the uh, clear spoon here. Let's pop this on. I think I did arm it. So go there. Take my ACS trigger pouch that I've already got because of my SFDI. Just pull that out there. I'm going to take the pin. I'm going to put it through the safety lever. And I've just put my SFDF in my pouch that I use for my SFDI. And this is a great device, don't get me wrong. This is the best impact device on the market until now. This is the Torque Precision SFDF or SEFDF as I'm going to call it because I just think that sounds so much cooler. If you want to know more about this device, you can go to Torque Precision's Facebook page. You can go to their website and find out more on this device and when it's becoming available. This is the SFDF Fusion Kinetic Trigger Device. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It has been a long one. I'm sorry about that. I've just tried to get all the information out there so you know exactly what this thing is and what it does. And uh, we'll get to some fine demonstration if we can. If not, it'll be on a follow-up video and we'll show you how sensitive this thing can be made. But I'm James at Bespoke Airsoft. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. belt is not meant to go on your shoulder. Probably putting some funny faces while I'm doing this. But yeah, so I carry mine. I use ACS mag pouches as well. And it's on my belt, so it's down here on my right hand side, and I just pull it, throw it. The must have distraction device um, if you're an airsoft in the UK. SFDF.